next test is called the drop arm test to check for rotator cuff tear or tendonitis. Typically, it's going to show a massive tear of the rotator cuff if it's a positive test. With this test, the examiner will take the arm, passively move it up to 90 degrees abduction, and then you'll have the patient lower the arm smoothly to the side. Repeating the test again, I'll ask him to lower his arm smoothly to the side. That would be a negative test. If he had a positive test, two things would typically happen. He would ratchet down with the arm, it wouldn't be a smooth motion, it would be difficult to lower smoothly, and he would also complain of pain with that. Uh, with that in combination of other tests to look for rotator cuff tear, makes it more of a sensitive test to uh, isolate which rotator cuff tendon we're talking about here. Typically, supraspinatus ten tendon, we're looking at this possible tear, and again, if it's a massive tear, there would be a lot of pain and difficulty lowering like so. Draw on the test. <laughs>